What's going on guys? Epic Demon here, back at it with another video. Not today, I want to show you guys how to uh, tear down a F8 Plus. So, I'm going to get right into it. Um, basically, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's so about 15 screws that you have to unscrew. So, I'm going to get right into it. And what I do to organize it, make sure that I can get all my screws. I have a magnetic mat. If this thing can magnetize and get the screw out. Okay, well, whatever. And I'm just going to put it right here. And then just keep doing the same thing. Okay, now uh, yours, your phone should look like like this. So I took all the screws out. Now I'm going to use this, what I call a black stick, and basically get underneath ooh, right here. Get underneath this, and to actually, let's do it from the top. Yeah. Sorry for the angles, guys. Oop. Oh lordy. Alright, I think I can do it. See, it's hard to do it with one hand. I wish I had someone else to record me, but... Uh, but I work by myself, I guess. Come on. There we go. He's got to get in between. And just pop it open. And... I forgot a screw. Well, this is already unscrewed, but I just need to get this out. Okay, maybe maybe it's screwed. I don't know. Here. Okay, it's not budging, but um, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's already unscrewed and stuff, so you can just safely just but slowly just start. You know, prying it out. Just go on, get on the other end. And just keep doing that. And then, be careful because this is a wireless uh, charger. You want to make sure you, you're able to use it again. So, take that out safely. And then now... The first thing you usually do is take this battery connector and just disconnect it. So go underneath and then twist. And then I can take this cover out. So I'm just going to underneath like this. Or you can go underneath like this. Whatever works for you. And then just bend it. And there we go. Pops out. Then you could well first before I forget I need to need to take the, the sim the sim card out so here okay basically get you your sim tool and if I could angle it that way you guys can see where is it there you go uh, coming out. Cool. Cool. Got that out. And then what else am I doing? Okay. Then that's it. And then you could disconnect these two screws for the charger. Oops. It should be black. And then put that on the side. Oop. There we go. Disconnect this black screw. Put that on the side. And then disconnect a black screw right here.
I'm gonna put that. So three blacks for the charger and for the uh, speaker. And then I think that's all the screws. Mm, let me see. I think that's all the screws. Yeah. So now we can just start disconnecting cables. So I'm gonna disconnect the speaker for the speaker. Cool. Disconnect this for the display. Disconnect the camera. Disconnect this. I believe this is the proximity or flashlight. I think I'm, I'm not 100%. And then this is the. Don't know. <laughs> If I can get it, get it to come out, come on, there we go. And now, you're just gonna take this, put that on the bottom, make sure the camera's always on the bottom too, so just like that. And then, oh, I got one more thing, just connect this. Cool. And I think that's it. So then, here, one sec. Okay, now you get you a nice uh, flat head just like this. And then you're going to go right here. And you're going to, oops, a second. And then you're going to lift it up here. Let me. all the pain I'm going through to make this <laughs> this is so difficult okay there we go it's that there we go nope okay here uh, let me okay there we go now I got it oh there we go cool and then, once everything is disconnected, now you could disconnect these, but I usually leave them, leave them together. It's just better because it's so hard to put these back on. So I'm gonna use this black stick and then I'm just gonna go underneath the board just like this and then start lifting it up just like that. I'm gonna take the battery out the way that way I can lift it up and then oop so you see I always gotta make sure I forgot I forgot a screw yeah I forgot this black screw so I'm gonna disconnect that And I forgot this black screw. So you always gotta make sure that you get all these screws out before you start taking it out. Alright. But let's do this one more time. Go up. And then move these, you know, cables like these these things out the way, that way. Have more room to start lifting up. Cool. It's coming up now for this. What you're gonna have to do is your oh dang I forgot. See underneath here uh you basically use a spudger, I thought sorry, a flathead. So one sec. Yeah, so basically right here you use a flathead to get underneath because this 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 thing is kind of holding it if it can focus so you guys can see it but you probably can't so you use this flathead to push this like board down and then push the board down that way it just gets out mm, if i can get it oops sorry
Hmm. All right, here. Let me lift this up like that. I wish, really wish I had another person to do this to record. Hmm. Here. There we go. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see. Hold on. Maybe you guys can see. I'll just work with it. Pushing it up a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit. Just keep pushing it up. And it's coming. There we go. Cool. Ooh. Dang. <laughs> don't do that, guys. Seriously, don't do that. Cool. Don't. Okay, sorry about that. Um, now I'm going to use uh, one use this flathead to get this uh, motor. Just uh, it's actually called a vi motor. It makes the phone vibrate. So here, you basically you get underneath like like this, and then you just push it up. If I can get it. thing you take this out right here so usually use a hot gun to um, repeat it up from the from the other side like this area so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just try to get it underneath well I wouldn't recommend doing it but, but you know it's, it's you know just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes there we go. Now see, I got it. I got it up, but this thing, you know, feels like it's gonna tear. So I'm gonna use a hot gun real quick. Okay, I used the hot gun, and don't know if I can get it. Probably use a sponger. So yeah, use the sponger again, and then just slowly. Yeah. Trying to get out neat and then just slowly just take it out. Just like that. Jeez, okay. Here. Let me see if I can get this out just partially. Partially out. Come on. There we go. Now I can just peel it off. And it's nice and slowly. Cool. All right. Perfect. And then, yeah, that's how you disassemble uh, all your stuff. I mean, the battery usually stays stays on. I mean, you could take it off, but when I advise it, um, but by taking it off, you peel this off and then peel this and then you. Um, get it you put, you put alcohol to like get it uh loose and then use like a sponger or a black stick and slowly pry it out like slowly and yeah that's the uh, end of the video peace out